Hey guys, welcome to my summer collection video. Finally it's here, I know it took me a while and everybody's asking. The summer collection came out, I bought it, and then it got sick, and I couldn't taste anything for like three days, so I couldn't really like try anything out, and it was a mess. But here we are, we finally, I finally tried them all, except for one, but I have it here, so we're gonna try it together, and yeah. This is the theme of the new summer collection. It's really cute, everything is popsicles and ice cream. And that is exactly what I want. And I always take the bro brochures and I'm going to collect them just so I can like see the difference between like all the different collections. But this is this year's and I really like it. It just makes me really happy. The colors are so exciting and I really want to get like all the accessories that they brought out this year and I probably will. The teas this year are coconut ice, hard candy, just PG, strawberry colada, and palm tango. So let's start out with the coconut ice. The coconut ice, um, it has honey bush, coconut, cocoa shells, and that is pretty much all that is in the coconut ice. Um, this one, like I will say, like I'm not a huge coconut fan. I actually like just hate coconut. But for someone who likes coconut, this is like the first tea that I've seen since I've like really paid attention to like all the new collections and stuff that is just coconut. Um, like there's nothing really else besides like honey bush, which I don't even know what that really is. <laughs> for me, like I tried it and I didn't hate it. I mean, I drank it, but I don't think I would get it again just because I don't like coconut. I feel like it would taste really good if you made it like an iced version or like the cold version and then made like a smoothie with it or something. It, it would kind of like replace coconut water or even popsicles. Like if you made that and put like fruit and put it in like one of those popsicle makers, that'd be really good. But for me, I won't like try it again or rebuy it just because I don't like coconut. But it's cool because usually all their teas have like more than one flavor in it. And this one's literally like just different kind of coconuts in it and that's pretty much it so the next one is hard candy and I, I bought it and then I don't know where I put the bag so I don't have the bag I can read it. I have this little pamphlet with all the information so I'll still read it it is oh it doesn't say oh yeah it says it has sour cherries kiwi coconut that's all it says that's in there. I really liked it. I didn't really taste like any coconut in it. And I was kind of worried when I read the mocks. I was like, oh, they all have coconut in it. Ew. I didn't taste the coconut in it. I really tasted like the sour cherry, which reminds me of cherry snow cone. Um, they didn't bring that tea back, but they did bring this one, which is pretty similar because it has the sour cherries in it. Um, and then it also has kiwi. Like it's, it's a really good tea. Um, it tastes like Jolly Ranchers, like the cherry one, which is like the best same besides blue raspberry but blue raspberry everything is like the best apparently it's like a really good tea pop which i haven't tried yet but i definitely am going to try that because that sounds amazing so i think that's the one that's like been the most popular and that people are like most excited about and most talking about this year it's the hard candy i wouldn't recommend hot but i would definitely try that one iced and tea pop definitely trying that next that's next on my list the next one is just peachy and again i don't have the bag with me but the pamphlet though there it is oh and there's hard candy just in case you're wondering you can see all the cherries in there and it reminds me of cherries not gonna lie wow it's like really storming and i feel like that tree is just gonna like fall down on the house this one they had last summer and for some reason i don't remember it being so good like i remember trying it and i was like not that excited about trying it again but like i guess i didn't realize how amazing it was well, if you want to play it says this fruity blend is packed with juicy peach flavor try it over ice with a splash of champagne oh didn't think of that girl i would try that have you ever been to robin's donuts and got that peach juice that they have i'm sure they've had it at other places but my whole childhood is like going through the ramen donuts drive through and getting that peach juice that is exactly what just pg reminds me of it's like that sweet peach juice and even the color is like the same and i'm like is this the juice because like honestly you could fool me it's so good i got it iced with two pumps of agave and it was like the perfect it tastes exactly like sugary juice and it's like not sugary juice so it's like good i loved it so much i'm definitely gonna buy like a ton of it and that i think that's probably my favorite so far besides hard candy like hard candy is runner up and maybe once i find it like once i try it as a teapot maybe hard candy might be 
Beat just pe I can't talk. I can't I can't talk. I want to try both like the just peachy and the hard candy as a teapot And then I'll decide which one's my favorite because right now it's like I don't know But apparently they're both really good as teapots, so I'm excited to try them But yeah, just peachy like I guess I didn't remember how amazing it was, but it's amazing you guys You have to try it. It's like so good and ice with two pumps of agave just like perfect And then you'll thank me later tweet me pictures of it because girl you need to try Girl, girl, girl. And the next one is strawberry colada. This is the one, well, actually, I tried it as a sample at the store. But it's not the same because it's like you're not making it yourself. You don't add, like, your sweetener to it and all that stuff. So I have it here. I have the actual drink. And then I also have the bag. Um, so this one, this is what it looks like. Hibiscus, rose, hip shells, apple, pineapple, and coconut. And again, coconut, mm, coconut all over the place. In the description, it says, this sweet and fruity mix of strawberries, pineapple, and coconut is straight out of the retro cocktail menu. Try it over crushed ice with some splash of rum. Wow, they just want everybody to get drunk this summer. So let's try it. I don't have a straw. Here we go. <laughs> you know what? You know what this reminds me exactly of? Can you hear that rain? Oh my gosh, that tree is gonna blow over. <laughs> oh. oh, I have the whole menu here. I don't even have to like think about it. Because look, strawberry rhubarb parfait. That's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of strawberry rhubarb parfait and like strawberry shortcake mix. Like if you were to mix that. And there's something about strawberry rhubarb parfait that I don't like. It has hibiscus, yogurt, strawberry, and rhubarb. So I think maybe. I don't think this is a good idea to film here. I don't know. I think maybe what I don't like about that tea is the rhubarb because I, I don't know, the tea, like I don't hate it, but it's like not my fave. Like I wouldn't get it or buy it or, you know, anything. But I have had it as a tea pop and that's like the best tea as a tea pop, I think. Just like the way that the flavor is, it just really works well with a tea pop. So I think actually the strawberry colada because it just brings out more of like the sweet strawberry and then the pineapple of it, that would be really good. Um, why am I blanking? It would be a really good teapot. It would be a really good teapot. I really like strawberry quality. It's actually really good. It kind of tastes like that sweet strawberry mix, like if you were to make like a strawberry daiquiri or like those really, really sweet, like real fruit strawberry popsicles, that, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that's what it reminds me of and it's really good. I really like it. So I'm going to finish that up. There it is. <laughs> mm, there she is. And the picture, actually, of that popsicle, it kind of reminds me of the flavor of the strawberry colada. It tastes so much better as, like, when I made it than it did in the sample. I don't know, just the sample, it doesn't have any sweeteners made in the brewer. I find that, I feel like a lot of people might get a bad impression of, like, a tea um, by trying it through the sampler just because they don't realize, like, how good it can be, like, if you add, like, the things that you like and make it the way that you like. The last one is Palm Tango, and I have this one. But I still have some of this um, from last year when I did the spring collection and I reviewed it once and I don't remember what I said so it's interesting to kind of take this review and then compare it to that review and I might go watch that video right after this because I'm interested because I don't remember what I said. This tea is a black tea um, and it's black tea, mango, and pomegranate pretty much that's like all that's in there. What do I think of palm tango? Um, I think I tried it hot last year like I don't think I iced it. I'm not a big fan of black tea fruity wise. The only one that I've really, really liked is the cranberry pear. But this one I actually tried iced a couple days ago and I really liked it. Um, I think the black tea with the fruit can be a bit strong. I find black tea to be really strong. So it's one of those teas that I like to drink with milk, but then when you add fruit in it, it's kind of like weird to drink with milk. Um, but I actually tried this one iced the other day and I just added a little bit more sweetener than I normally would and I actually really liked it. I mean, it's not like my absolute favorite, but I really like mango and pomegranate as like a mix. So that one's comparable to the cranberry pear. It's just a little bit different in flavor. 
um, but I would definitely try it again. I don't think I will like stock up on it. It's not like, I don't like it that much, but it's definitely one that like I wouldn't mind trying again. So yeah, that is my collection and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, and actually, very exciting, there is two more summer collections from David C this year. And there is a cocktail collection and then there's a summer two collection. So... It's going to be lots of videos and tea reviews to do this summer because there's lots of things coming up. So it's going to be exciting summer and I hope they bring back some of my faves in like the summer too or the cocktail. Yeah, I'm really excited to try those out too and we'll kind of see which one we like the most out of the three of the summer. And if you like my background, this is actually my boyfriend's sister's house and they went on a nice road trip away from this weather and I, we are watching their dog. That's where I am and that's what you hear in the background. Yeah, that's why my background is so pretty. Don't get too excited because I won't be here all the time but I thought I would take advantage of being here and I was like, wait a minute, I could film in their beautiful house and it'd be a beautiful background. And yes, it is. So yeah, but don't get too excited, but hopefully I will have a beautiful house on my own. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for the next summer videos.